Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and a warm welcome to yet another Lead Squared Sales webinar. Uh, we have very exciting things to discuss today, our topic being uh, building a highly effective sales incentive program. So before we get to the actual webinar, I would love to welcome our very wonderful speaker here, Mr. Dheeraj. Hi Dheeraj, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, to tell you a very small bit about Dheeraj, he is someone who has been in Lead Squared for the past two years and he comes with over four years of experience in sales. And here at Lead Squared, uh, Dheeraj uh, manages teams. Uh, he is the team lead, particularly of the SMB market. And I've seen him a lot uh, in his demos and everything, and I'm really looking forward to learning from him today. And thank you so much once again, Dheeraj. Uh, before we, I hand the session over to Dheeraj, I would love to walk everyone through the agenda points. So the main agenda points of today, we have split them into four distinctive uh, points. First one being, how can a customized incentive structure boost productivity? Second one being, why is it essential to have different KPIs? Uh, third one being the do's and don'ts of establishing a diverse reward structure. Fourth one being, how technology can help you manage incentive structure. So with that, uh, I have a few pointers for the audience also. Now, as and when Dheeraj is going on with his presentation and his webinar, uh, I'm sure a lot of you will have a lot of questions. I'm sure I might also have a lot of questions. So if you have any questions coming up during the webinar, feel, please feel free to put them up uh, on the question tab, which is towards the right side corner of your screen. So if you click there, you'll have an option to uh, ask any kinds of questions that you want to ask to Dheeraj. And another thing is the chat tab where I can see that Mr. Leon has already found, navigated to the chat tab. Hi, Mr. Leon. Uh, good day to you too. Uh, that is where, where we network. So please feel free to drop your LinkedIn profiles, ask anything and everything that you want on the chat tab as well. Uh, so with that, I think uh, I will hand the session over to Dheeraj. Uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, Dheeraj, over to you. Thank you so much, Kartika, for the very nice and very energetic in, uh, introduction. Um, I'm not sure if I have had a chance to get this kind of introduction before in my life. So it was amazing for me. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I would like to welcome everyone. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, as Kartika introduced me, I'll, I'll just uh, give you a quick introduction about me. My name is Dheeraj Pahuja. I work in uh, Lead Squad as a team manager. I have a few folks with me uh, where we have all the same agenda to, you know, get revenue for the company, being in sales. This is one of the uh, major KPIs. Uh, about which I, we will speak in this uh, presentation today also. And uh, just, you know, I would want everyone to be, uh, you know, interactive here. I, I want this session to be interactive. Everyone, I would like everyone to collaborate as much as they can so that we also get to not just to learn, but uh, we can answer as many, um, um, you know, questions as we can here, right? So uh, thank you so much, Kartika, again. And uh, I'll be the speaker today. Um, and Kartika has already mentioned about the agenda. I would like to start from the very first slide uh, from the topic, build a highly effective sales incentive program. So um, this topic, this, this particular feature of uh, our product um, is not just uh, a feature. I would say it's a perspective uh, where people, all of our clients uh, who are using this particular feature or um, they were able to make a workflow designed accordingly, they were very impressed. Uh, this, this particular feature has been in discussion from I would say more than three years in the industry. Um, there were very few companies who were basically uh, trying to design this kind of workflow. Uh, since LeechCode was uh, able to achieve this uh, with a very you know, detailed market research and a lot of our engineers uh, made, them, uh, made this happen. So this sales incentive program, uh, it's not just a feature, it's, it's a perspective towards how or what kind of features or what kind of uh, different workflows should be there in an organization. It could be any industry about which we will be speaking. And I would um, uh, put all of my best efforts to explain this, right? So feel free to ask any questions in between. I'll try to catch up uh, with the questions as much as I can. I hope Kartika uh, will note all these down and we can you know, talk in between. And uh, uh, that's a brief introduction about me. I've been working here for some last uh, more than two years now. 
so yeah agenda so um, we were able to identify um, the topic and we were able to distinguish the four different pointers to make a agenda very successful one is how a customized incentive structure basically boosts the productivity of the team members right how it is done why should it be there uh, what kind of uh, different um, ideas should be there or maybe different uh, rule set should be there so we'll be speaking about that why is it essential uh, to have different kpis designed according to the business uh, which basically is going to give a net result to have a uh, incentive structure uh, we will be speaking about that too uh, third point do's and don'ts of establishing a diverse reward structure for the teams and individuals um, i have a few pointers made uh, i would like everyone to uh, put suggestions i uh, don't want to be very uh, persuasive in terms of that but i would love uh, for all the answers right um and last point is how basically technology can help you know being in this area I, I, era i don't think anyone would be there without their mobile phones or without their laptops and um, how basically it has been helping we were able to achieve some things uh, i would like to share so let's proceed so um how the incentives are made um how the how to get the work done by the management um and everything right so incentives comes at the end of a particular cycle it could be sales cycle it could be any task it could be any achievement which a particular poc i would say say a point of contact or maybe a representative in the company which is obliged towards uh, taking a certain incentive uh, by designed by the management so uh, the cycle starts by how the management would want to get the work done and on getting the work done there are certain incentives right so incentives are anything that persuade a person to alter their behavior in a desired manner this is one of the uh, very but a uh, peculiar line i could uh, read on on my research um so basically management everyone in the organization would want to work on their own way but management has certain criteria or certain rules to be followed certain uh, goals to be achieved certain targets are there uh, it could be short term it could be long term right so incentives are designed in terms of making the team under a kind of an influence influence is a very hard word but why i would say uh, under a motivation to get, uh, get the work done right so the incentives comes in the picture it could be anything to persuade a human behavior uh, to alter their behavior to achieve a certain target this is something um, uh, i would lay say uh, i would uh, lay down here i mean uh, if if anyone has a better incentive uh, you know bifurcation or maybe a definition i would like everyone to put in the comments moving forward uh i was able to make uh, a basic criteria of how uh, incentives come in the picture um clearly mentioning uh, there in the step 1 uh, there are certain kpis uh, which are mapped and targets are set so kpis are basically uh, to who who, uh, who are not uh, you know aware of uh, the full form of kpis it's a key performance indicator uh which basically identifies if a particular what a particular person has to do so uh, talking in sales specifically i would be someone my kpi would be to get the revenue for the company map a process design a flow where me and my team will be able to achieve that monetarily goal right this is a kpi uh, for me and it should be quantifiable which means it should be measured in terms of quantity it could be um, anything let's say a sales number it could be a number of accounts it could be a number of meetings done it could be uh, let's say a number of accounts targeted or maybe a number of accounts doing on the market research anything any any kpi which can be measured into a quantity can be put into the kpi on basis of which the targets are going to be met by the people um uh, someone has asked me to be crisp okay i'll try to uh, map that so uh, kpi is uh, on the quantifiable measures um the specific objectives should be mapped right now the in the step 2 when the kpis are given to the people those kpis are met by the people uh, in terms of different uh, quantifiable measures of course once those quantifiable members measures are met the incentives uh, which are set by the team by the management are calculated approved and then processed right so based on the kpis after achieving the incentives are uh coming in the picture so uh moving towards the next slide 
so why incentives are important uh there are a few pointers that i have made one is it improves the business goals so when a person if anyone is in the picture um the the goals is not a particular manage management role it is assigned aligned towards the uh, every individual every individual will have their certain kpi certain goal to achieve and collaborating towards a bigger goal right so when a incentives are set it is designed uh, in such a way that the goals are achievable and after achieving the goals the uh, incentives are going to be processed so uh, it improves the business goal it increases the productivity of the team so uh, when incentives are there in the picture people would obviously uh, go towards uh, with a uh, go towards the work with a motivation uh, which will help them to uh, contribute more in terms of uh, doing their numbers or doing uh, completing their kpis so this is where the productivities are matched so this is where they achieve their goal and the secure a reward so the third point i would like to say it uh, reduces the iteration so people who are uh, motivated in terms of monetary or uh, in terms of um, any any kind of incentives it could be payment in cash it could be payment in kind anything so people are uh, aligned towards that and uh, using that incentives uh, if we uh, if some companies work on such basis when they increase the incentives uh, so people's iteration reduces and uh, another point uh, it obviously motivates people it motivates uh, people to work on their specific goal uh, it adheres them to come under uh, influence that they will have to work under certain kpis and they will have to be mapped it improves the collaboration of course uh, people tend to collaborate more not just in the numbers but uh, would be in open to have that uh, aligned thought process uh, aligned towards the management aligned towards the goal and uh, people try attend to collaborate more and last point it engages the people in terms of uh, uh, making the systems making the processes in uh, easier manner yeah so uh, suraj has asked can we go to the platform yeah sure of course we have some uh, screenshots ready with the, uh, in this ppt which will uh, exactly uh, show you like how the system looks like uh, specifically in lead squared we have designed a very uh, gamified system which is going to not just uh, motivate the employees but to help them engage with the system uh before that i would like to share like some do's and don'ts uh by while making an incentive structure uh for some of the people who are um, in the management and they are trying to uh, be very uh, uh, supportive in terms of making the incentive structure for the teams um these are some tips that i could uh, put inside which is uh, make a plan on yearly basis the first point uh this is uh, going to be a pilot for every company and every company who are even trying to restructure the incentives they also try to do the pilot project so in pilot uh, it's better always to keep working on an yearly basis you try it for a year if it works out keep some part of it and uh, take the advantage to improvise that right this is one of the tip i could give according to my experience i have seen uh the second point uh, take the ideas of all the stakeholders uh, while structuring the ideas uh so every level uh, in people have been uh, joining into different organizations coming from different companies uh, each company every company have different incentive structures um, some people some companies pay in kind some companies pay in short term or in long, long term in terms of monetary value etc etc so uh, people come from different backgrounds and they have uh, beautiful ideas uh, to put in and restructuring that uh, it, uh, while talking to all the stakeholders uh, a very good idea can be created the third would be keep the base of the principle throughout the process right um there should be achievable target there should be a principle that has to be followed uh, the management has to be fair in terms of uh, disposing the amount uh, monetary or non monetary whatever uh, the uh, the principle should be followed throughout the process and it should be very clearly communicated to all the uh, stakeholders uh, or could be on the first level or the last level of the management everyone the incentive structure should be uh, very clearly communicated this is the last point what should not be there uh, don't over engineer uh, which means uh, don't try to make a lot of uh, complications in terms of making the calculations possible uh, obviously some averages and some percentages should be taken uh, but it should be very clearly communicated and clearly understood by the all the team members how the incentive structures are going to be there um, consider the base versus the output um, the target should be on the output basis uh 
how about paying for this external training maybe uh, his management study etc uh, okay, I believe Kartika can answer that. I'll, I'll run through words of PPT. Now, uh, don't always keep the monetary benefits and incentives. The payments could be in kind, payments could be in uh, cash, it could be short term, it could be long term. Uh, don't always put a long shot. Uh, so some companies try to always give uh, a mandate in terms of uh, the people are going to get in the incentives if the targets are achieved yearly and the some collections are made and on terms of that, the payments are going to be there. But to motivate the employees, there should be uh, short-term incentives as, as well. It could be in terms of recognition. It could be in terms of uh, maybe let's say an award function where the people are acknowledge uh, the management are acknowledging the people's uh, work. This is, should be there. Uh, this is one of my perspectives. So it should not always be on a long shot. Yeah. So uh, moving towards the product, uh, coming from one of our uh, members in the audience. Uh, so how lead squared was able to achieve um, and what was the idea behind it? So uh, admin is someone who has the access to the system, who can create a pro who can create a program, who can basically uh, design the workflow on terms of whatever you have uh, made the calculation on the paper uh, should be on the system so that the system can automatically calculate the incentive. And it should be not only just to visible to the management, but to the end user as well, right? Second flow, what we were what we created were, has been an approval flow, where uh, whenever a certain person has achieved the target, they request for the payout. The approval should be there by the management, so that the, all the calculation on the incentives, all the uh, invoices can be checked, etc. So, and the last part is the pay, payout flow. So these. Three flows uh, has been the three pillars of this particular features, which is incentives. Now I'll be moving towards uh, how the incentives are structured in um, a more detailed view. So now uh, there could be three level of hierarchies in the companies. One of the examples I would like to put, for example, uh, one particular person is trying to achieve the target, let's say uh, $100,000 in a an year. And uh, he was able to do that. But being me as a team manager, I have 10 folks like that. I have a bigger target than them. So we were able to create a roll up based on the team's achievement. So now person A, person B and person C, these three people are trying to contribute as much as they can. Some person has done 60%, some has done 130%. Some were able to do, let's say 20% only. So now collaborating that I, as a team manager, have my set goal and I have a different set of calculation on my incentive, different percentage of calculation. Uh, management was able to design that and we were able to put that into a logic based idea, which we have already put in lead squared, right? This is a single metric and goal based roll up idea where the team has been uh, trying to achieve that. So yeah, this is one of the other view where the incentive um, comes with the end user program card. So now it, uh, we were able to make a very gamified system in lead squared where Incentives are not uh, uh, now now just not a very hidden number. Uh, no one will have to worry. Okay, how much incentive I have made till now, or how much payout have I done? So now, where uh, everyone were in terms of monthly targets, it it was uh, achievable in terms of getting the work done. Um, people were not aware like how much incentive has been calculated, how much payment has been uh, received, and how much incentive I am eligible for. Now, LeechCode was able to make a very amazing user interface uh, so that salespeople or anyone who has been given a target uh, on a weekly, monthly or a yearly cycle, they were able to see what percentage was contributed by them in terms of uh, term, uh, in, in first month. Uh, and now if you see the screenshot, uh, you can see it's a nine cycle in the process. Uh, it's written on this table. Nine cycle means that whatever cycle on the monthly cycle we have created for 12 months, we are in the ninth cycle currently. And total uh, revenue generation has been this much amount and the total uh, achievements was this much. Based on that total uh, revenue, the person was eligible for this much and uh, he was able to take an approval to get the quarterly payout or a yearly payout or half yearly payout about this much amount. And uh, the pending for approval is this much and rejected amount was this much. Now, people can also comment here to speak to the management on the particular feature. Why was this rejected? Thank you so much for the approval. Or maybe uh, this much of incentive was calculated. I was not able to receive this much. So this is one of the interface. 
the other part uh, of the revenue generation leader board this is one of the very interesting uh, user interface that the team has created which basically not just show my <coughs> i'm really sorry but which uh, does this does not only show my incentives but it actually also shows like who has been on the position one in the company if i have a i'm working under a team of uh, 200 people i would like to see okay what what rank i am coming on uh did i receive uh, this much of incentive in cash did i uh, i have received this much in uh, different let's say electronics maybe some companies are giving uh, trips to dubai for example or maybe a trip to europe right so these these were in kind so these could be calculated and shown in terms of uh, different leadership boards right so if you can see here uh, one leader uh, rank one he has uh, achieved particular uh, 14 in number it could be let's say 14 clients or maybe 14 accounts whatever and uh, that particular person was able to achieve the 400000 dollars of um, uh, incentive in cash and uh, for one iphone and uh, particularly if i check my particular rank uh, logging in from the other id my rank is 2 if you can see it on the right hand side my rank is 2 and my achievement has been this much this is the particular reward i have uh, achieved in this particular cycle this is my location and this is the team i'm working with these much of amazon vouchers i have taken so this is a particular leaderboard based on the goals the incentives and the leaderboard the user is obliged towards logging into the system and uh, the adoption increases uh, for your users which increase the productivity which increase the motivation uh, against the work this is how lead squad was able to create a beautiful user interface right uh i am on the last slide of the presentation which basically says uh, which basically shows the mobile app view now the mobile app view is uh, very necessary uh, one of the examples i would like to put in uh, the people who are on field uh, mostly are in the real estate industry or maybe in the collection cases uh, some lending cases are there where the people needs to uh, go on the field and let's say collect some documents the, it could be any kind of targets monetarily or non monetarily to achieve a particular task anything could be a number of meetings target so a person who is every time on a field he does not have time to access to the laptops again and again so we have given the mobile application view in lead squared which basically shows how lead squared uh, how, how much incentive i am eligible for what is my particular goal how much i have achieved and uh, what is my criteria i fall in with one particular percentage criteria and we are going to get uh, this much of revenue as a team i have been able to complete this much of collection etc etc so this is uh, what the incentive structure on the mobile app looks like so uh, that is all for the uh, presentation from my end i would like everyone to um, you know put the suggestions or anything any questions if anyone has yes uh, thank you so much for the wonderful presentation dheeraj uh i i can see a question from mr michael can i take that out if that's okay with you sure sure please all right great uh mr michael uh, asked how should incentives be awarded in tiers or solely based on individual performances what is your opinion on this um i like to reiterate this question uh, uh for example uh, the question is if the incentives could be given on the individuals performance on uh, quantifiable measures or it should be in tiers on terms of uh, making different uh, 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 different uh, you know strategies on top of that uh, was this this question uh, michael if you could uh, michael if you could just uh, give a thumbs up on the chat that should help if you are still there um all right I'll, i'll try to ask uh, i'll try to answer whatever i understood from the question so um sure. see working in uh, multiple organizations working in uh, uh, different uh, you know level of hierarchies i have understood that incentives is not just uh, a, a a reward on the achievement it is basically uh, some people's uh, you know days and nights works output uh, which needs to be rewarded right so in terms of not just the quantifiable measure some companies try to take um some different thoughtful processes uh it could be in short term it could be in long term for example one of my uh, team members who has been uh, achieving the targets on quantifiable measures for sure but he was also involving himself to uh, put more uh, thoughtful processes in terms of uh, adding adding value uh, value to the company right 
so now in terms of that uh, um, putting that in forward i was uh, the team was able to understand okay this particular person has different ideas to put in maybe i could give him a new responsibility maybe i could give him a, a new team member maybe i could acknowledge his work like i said it can always not in uh, be in cash but it could be in kind too i could be uh, putting him under a reward uh, show maybe i could uh, add uh, give him some rewards so the people are not just uh, taking the incentives in cash but they are uh, un understood that okay my work is getting acknowledged uh, there are people uh, uh, with me who were able to do this i could achieve this i could understand maybe put some more ideas this is something i can i think uh, tier based uh, uh, you know answers could be there in terms of incentives uh one of the questions i can see from vineet uh, do you help in designing the incentive structure for the team um, so vineet um, i would like to take this question see um this is not uh, right now see we work in a saas market right uh, leads for the saas product but according to the changes which has been uh, seeing in the market it's not just a product market anymore i would say it's a service market so service one of the biggest biggest service in the industry is the consulting now we have a set of team members who are working with uh, you know big companies like honda companies like byju's uh, who were able to uh, explore uh, all the different verticals all the different companies in the market and uh, came on lead squared with some reason not just because we have an, an amazing product which we have obviously but because uh, we were able to help them in terms of giving our ideas output so yeah uh, to answer this question we help in designing the incentive structure but again uh, we would like to understand your uh, complete terminologies or complete structure of your company uh, we are happy to sign a non disclosure agreement if uh, anyone is scared but yeah obviously we help that all right i hope that answers the question uh, we need uh, so as a follow up to your last answer uh, dheeraj mr kumar has asked which do you think is more effective uh, the cash kind of incentive or the kind uh, i would like to give a partial answer to this uh, see it, it's basically um, majorly it's cash what i have seen uh, but yeah kind is always uh, a helpful uh, advantage uh, see i worked in a company uh, before this where um, i could not make a cash incentive but i was eligible enough to have a trip to dubai from the company which not only just gave me an idea i will see i was 21 years old that time i never had a chance to go abroad so it actually helped me to explore a new uh, geography it actually helped me to you know brag in front of my friends okay i had a trip with my uh, colleagues on to this company so it actually helped yeah it gave me motivation so yeah in kind also it helps but majorly i would say cash is something something which people always uh, uh, you know take care i think it's more uh, appreciated of course yeah, more, more <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um another question that i can see from mr uh, rabneet is uh, can how, how customizable is the incentives module at least quite um customization uh any design i mean see uh, being in a software industry i would say something which is a not a universal problem can be uh, coded in a software i mean you would want to uh, the what what could be the maximum thing you would want to put in incentive calculation it could be percentage it could be let's say uh, putting that particular kind of activity achieving that particular goal or uh, maybe uh, taking some average out of it taking the percentage out of it and making let's say maximum to maximum harmonic mean what 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 kind of mathematical logic you would want to bit if it is not a universal problem obviously it could be added in a code and we have a very um, uh, experienced team to do that i mean uh, i've never seen a logic which is um, uh, not not working in lead squared i mean honestly so yeah it is customizable enough uh, whatever your questions could be please feel free to sign up on the system uh, you will be able to um uh, you know take an understanding uh, if you have some base ready uh, our people are uh, happy to evaluate that and we will be able to put the ideas uh, you know whatever comes in of course definitely uh all right thank you so much for that dheeraj uh, another question is from shreya roy uh they've asked how would this software help across multiple teams such as a bd or a sales or a non sales vertical as well as all have different incentive structures and yet their goals can be interdependent of course of course so um, yeah uh, we were able to uh, you know see it through um, being in uh, see we, we are in a sales driven organization uh, majorly most of the things work on according to the sales in lead squared 
uh, but what we observed was a uh, marketing team had different kpis to work on uh, one of the examples let's say kartika she has uh, a target of let's say conducting 100 se- webinars in in a year right so it could be one of the quantifiable measures again right so uh, one of the team members in kartika let's say uh, they have a target to set 20 meetings or let's say uh, generate 500 leads out of one particular webinar this could be one kpi and we can whatever we can measure in terms of uh, putting that forward and we will be able to put that in the incentive structure we can make the separate calculations uh, it could be interdependent or intradependent on anyone uh, if you have a design product to set we will be able to map that in incentive structure i hope that answers uh, the question shreya 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 was it right i'm sorry yes yeah. it was shreya uh yes um uh, okay another is, question. i think uh, if you can take manan's question uh, we are a small sure, yes. product firm yeah. based out in mumbai our industry completely organized so is my firm okay um i'm i'm the third generation owner in the priorities to organize the firm but uh, i don't know where to start uh manan uh, i would like to uh, <laughs> i would i would say okay i'm i might be selfish but you can add me on linkedin i i can try to make some uh, you know put some ideas uh, in uh, forward uh, i can i could try to share my experience like what i have seen in pepper fry Uh, one of the very big companies i mean obviously that is an organized uh, industry yours is unorganized uh, but we all have the same agenda to put everyone's uh, life in ease so i'll try to achieve whatever i can uh, so feel free to add me or kartik or maybe anyone from my team members uh, we'll try to help as uh, much as we can is it possible to do calculation the erp calculations why not easy i have done it multiple times um one second I- i'm so sorry um michael if the video is actually not on mute uh auto mute yes it is off for the participants unfortunately uh because uh, it's just for the webinar to be smooth sailing so all our audience uh your video and your audio will be off uh that is why you can communicate to us using the question tab and the chat tab so please feel free to do so uh meanwhile uh maybe we can take up another question uh dida sure sure why not okay. um yeah dida if you if you, you have any mind i mean you can read no sure no problem all right uh is it from the chat tab is, do you have uh i have a question from pradeep is it any way to know the industry wise average incentive i mean you could read a blog or maybe uh try to read some articles uh, some uh, some one of the professors i had in college he has been working on economic factors of different uh, um significant values on different industries uh maybe just add me on linkedin i'll try to refer you to my professor maybe you can read his books uh he has been working on this particular part anything else that's wonderful uh dheeraj honestly uh okay another question is from suraj does this incentive platform integrate with key performance area indicators um didn't actually get the question um uh, performance area indicators from, is it a platform or maybe uh, have you made some K- kpis or what dheeraj if you could uh, maybe explain uh, your question a uh, little bit see see what, what i i'll try to answer whatever i can uh, so kpis are made on one of the features which we have in lead squared called named goals right so i'll tell you incentives is a, par- um, a sub part of a feature named ace ace has different modules one is goals one is incentive one is a new service cloud which is coming up um, and a lot of new uh, features so now you can set all the kpis in goals goals will be mapped uh, with the incentive structure and it will be calculated and you can even cal- uh, integrate with your erps if uh, to calculate if the payments are received we will be able to calculate everything and put everything in the picture uh i yes suraj i hope that answers your question all right great uh okay we have another question from uh, mr ruchir uh they ask can the incentive structure be creative in a way that uh, penalizes untouched leads depending on the number of hours it stays untouched on the square why not actually uh, this particular uh, problem statement was there since long so it is not a solution from the incentives but in lead squad we have a common uh, bucket uh, which we call smart views So now, in under smart views, uh, you will be able to see all the overdues, all the pending tasks uh, to be done. We can surely notify your users, notify the managers, create a list, run some automations, whatever you need. I mean, sales process can be easily mapped. Uh, 
Yeah. And I, I think a, a solution can be achieved if, if this is the issue because Lead Squared as a platform does have the capability to do that. So maybe, um, uh, Mr. Ruchir, if you want more answers or a more detailed view on how you can do this, you can definitely reach out to us as well. We would love to take it offline and show you. Uh, another question we have uh, is from Parth. Uh, we have our own app for sales representatives. So will you provide an API to integrate this with our app? Uh, is that something we're working on, Dheeraj? Uh, we have done that. Uh, I just would want to understand more on this. Um, please feel free to sign up on the system. I mean, uh, one of our representatives will be in touch with you. Um, where I or maybe some other manager will try to um, understand it more. And um, based on our experience, and we'll, we'll take some advice from the technical team as well. Whatever is needed, we can surely uh, take it ahead. So uh, one more question, uh, Vineet, can you share a brief about your company and its product? For sure. Uh, so um, the company's name is Lead Squared. Uh, it's uh, headquartered is in Bangalore and um, we are a SaaS product, right? Basically, uh, when we, uh, this company uh, was, uh, I mean, we started this company about 13 years back almost. Uh, we have recently raised CDC funding about 152 million US dollars. Uh, which was about eight months back. Uh, we are one of the unicorns now in the market. Now the product, uh, what we have, we have only have one single product, which is a CRM, right? Customer Relationship Management Tool, uh, which basically helps you to organize your internal team flows. It could be in any industry. We work in real estate, we work in healthcare, education, fintech, uh, collection use cases, lending use cases, anything. So now these companies, uh, take lead squared, use it internally and map each and every process. It could be sales process. It could be approval flow. It could be giving, uh, you know, setting up goals and giving the incentives, which we already discussed today. Uh, so a lot of different things, marketing automation, sales automations is one of the major area where we work again. Uh, but, uh, we were able to achieve a lot of, uh, different things. Of course, you're from, uh, we can help you with the real estate cases where your users could go on the field. They can use the mobile application. You can even track their location if even they're going on the meeting or not. Uh, what has been uh, you be using a feature called geo fencing and geo tagging. Uh, we were able to achieve that. We are integrated with Google map API keys. We uh, hold a very, uh, one of the most secure servers in the world, which is AWS. We have a separate cluster on that. Dedicated account managers are there who help you to keep improvising the system. So uh, everyone in the audience, uh, I would like you to understand uh, uh, that taking a software or purchasing anything is not just uh, for a process specifically. It's not a one time thing. You'll have to keep developing it. It's a, it's a continuous development effort that you and your team will have to um, uh, work on that. Right. So the another question, question from Nalin, uh, do you have clients from insurance industries? Sure. Why not? We have a very amazing use case solution uh, in, in insurance industry. Um, which is uh, solved by one of the features called opportunity management. So one particular lead could come for, let's say, a home loan or maybe, let's say, um, uh, uh, term insurance or maybe bike insurance or a car insurance, any, any kind of insurance. So you can keep creating multiple opportunities on one lead and keep working on it simultaneously, could distribute it to different team members. We can do that. Can we run your product on our own server? Uh, no, we don't do that. I'm sorry. Uh, we uh, It's a SaaS product and we try to keep our uh, hold of our, our own source code on our server. So we don't share that. Of course, uh, the data is going to be secured. We uh, keep everything under non-disclosure agreements. Uh, we can um, try working more, uh, you know, more terms in the more clauses in the contract uh, if that is needed. But yeah, it is going to be on our server only. How do we work on our sales skills? Um, <laughs> so this is uh, a very subjective question. Uh, there are a lot of sales trainers available in the market. Uh, I mean, you could uh, take some help from there. Um, uh, what I personally do is I listen to podcasts every day in the morning uh, for 10, 15 minutes. A lot of uh, different uh, people are there who basically uh, help us to give some uh, new advices. I try to take one tip every day from it and I just try to keep uh, using that in my everyday everyday work that that's all what I try to do. I don't have much content to talk on this. Uh, have you, uh, credentials with hotel villa industry? Um, we have, yes. Um, we have some clients from, uh, it, there could be two cases and actually hotels and villa, uh, uh, 
cases it could be one of them is renting a hotel room or one of them is selling a villa or maybe renting a villa so we can create it uh, we have a few clients one of the biggest clients is uh, make my trip uh, if i uh, would like to mention it yeah make my trip is our client so yeah we can solve this use case we have a few more customers i don't have it handy in my uh, you know on my tips but yeah we have that can you organize a webinar on making good business relationships at work uh, i think karthika you should take this <laughs> of course definitely yes uh, mr kumar thank you for the uh, idea we will definitely discuss with our team and come back on that and yes if you want more webinars on uh, topics that you want to hear about then please do let us know please to reach out to us because at the end of the day this is kind of like a knowledge sharing session so we'd love to uh, you know organize more such webinars uh, and to all the people who are asking for dheeraj's uh, email id and contact information i have put uh, i'm so sorry dheeraj but uh, i have put his linkedin on the chat as well so if you would like to connect with him on a professional way please do feel free to do so uh, other than that i think uh, we have one more question which is not entirely about our product uh, it's more of a logical question so what is more effective and what is a more effective and attractive incentive scheme uh, share with specific brand name example amazon vouchers or provide without any names example a rupees 2000 voucher so what is what has it been in your uh, experience dear see uh, see being in lead squad we were able to experiment all of these uh, we gave incentives in cash we gave incentives in uh, amazon vouchers uh, people actually get happy when they get uh, amazon vouchers because see one of the person who is actually looking to let's say uh, purchase uh, let, let's say uh, uh, i would like to purchase a bean bag for example right hmm. and uh, i'm not committed towards saving let's say uh, 500 rupees a month to purchase that right it could be let's say four five or five months uh, contribution for my taking a bean bag but when i get a 2000 rupees uh, coupon i am ten uh, you know intend towards to purchase that particular product so yeah it helps i mean uh, there's no hard and fast rule no rocket science but i i think uh, what i can say is you can keep trying keep push i mean uh, just keep uh, piloting the project so wherever you get the best results you will be able to do that yes i agree with that as well um i think there's one more question from mr michael he asks should incentives be awarded on a quarterly basis or on an annual basis uh, what have you seen work uh, in your experience um it basically depends on different cases um i would say if it is quarterly uh, incentives or let's say half yearly incentive scheme um the uh, organizations uh, you know the employees they um achieve their short term goals but if one is looking forward to save that particular money uh, for the end of the year um, i mean uh, it could be helpful for him to take the yearly plan uh, in terms of incentive so i think uh, company should be flexible if someone is eligible uh, by completing let's say 180% of the target uh, to take a particular variable amount from the ctc or maybe let's say a particular incentive um they if they are eligible enough i think the company should be flexible enough to provide that to them and uh, keep the remaining out of it and maybe the remaining could be given at the end of the year with everyone else so i think uh, it should be there yes definitely i think awards and recognitions also maybe so, uh, mimu has actually um, uh, improvised the uh, uh, question mentioning uh, voucher is enough or brand name should be mentioned with the incentive voucher I mean, yeah, it was not not uh, uh, hard and fast rule. I mean, you can use it your way. Uh, we have pretty amazing, uh, flexible system to provide you with anything you want. Of course. Um, okay, we have one more question from Mr. Navneet. Uh, he asks, one of our major issues we are facing is CRM adoption among the sales representatives. Oh, is it? How would you recommend linking incentives towards a better quality of data? in crm to improve crm adoption okay oh that that's a interesting question um so adoption is based on uh, two efforts one is how the particular crm vendor is supporting your team to understand the system point one the second dependency comes to the management of the company where they will have to create a certain discipline to make sure that the uh, users are actually trying to make uh, an effort to use a crm right 
obviously technically team can help but intentions uh, to use that system this uh, this is something which has to come from the team members specifically uh, if adoption is uh, very less or maybe it is challenging uh, i would say you should ask the vendor to give you a couple sessions uh, maybe by reaching out to your office online sessions are uh, not always uh, very connecting uh, i would say a face to face session or maybe on offline meetings uh, with the systems or maybe uh, this will help and obviously adding goals and incentives um it is going to be very interesting i would say why uh, when people are actually trying to log in into a system just to do work it is one case but they are when they are trying to see their goals okay how, this is where i'm short to this is how much i have earned this is how much i'm uh, trying to if i achieve this much target i will be able to earn this much this actually creates an interest for the users to use the system so obviously their option will increase yes definitely one um, question i would like to take uh, should incentive be given with privacy or it can be made public um see there are both ways i mean in lead square at least you can do that uh, you can make it keep it private uh, if you see the previous slide um katika can i use that yeah Of course, of course. Yeah. This structure, uh, user interface. This is going to be private for particular uh, user. So if if I am uh, trying to log in in my system, I will be able to see only my incentive, my everything, right? So the other system, this particular screen, this is particularly your leaderboard. If you'd want to put a leaderboard uh, in terms of uh, showing it to everyone, I mean your call. You can do that. You can uh, use either one of them or you can use both. Your call. So yeah. uh to answer that it can be done by both ways uh, again uh depends on how you'd want to take it forward so uh, what i'm understanding is uh from what you've said here our incentive model it seems like a very customizable uh like towards the user kind of a yes. product which is which is great definitely and on that uh, i have actually we have actually run a poll as well so if you if you can quickly navigate to the polls tab of the platform uh please you can maybe answer the poll we would love to reach out to you so it's just a way for us to understand how how much you'd like to you know use our product or how much you'd like to maybe explore our product and if you click on a yes then definitely we will be reaching out to you at priority and maybe uh you know it will help you and us in a way uh so other than that uh I don't see any more questions coming in, Deeraj. Uh, unless you have noted something. Yeah. I, I have uh, one one uh, question. I was checking uh, from uh, C. A. Rubneet Anand. So uh, Rubneet says uh, they are already in touch with Anirudh and Manish from Noida office for CRM. And uh, shall this product be a part of this? Would it be additional one? Uh, so we have different. Uh, uh, I mean, let's say a pricing structure. um mm. you could take that into one of the, uh, any of the plans that you are taking uh but for the billings and usage and everything i think uh, manish would be the best person you could speak to he is going to be uh you know giving you all the ideas whatever he can i'll ask him specifically for to make a customized plan for you if if you are concerned of you know spending more money into that i'll i'll try to uh, make an approach okay this particular person came from our webinar so try to make some exception out of it Of course. Thank you so much for that, Deeraj. Uh, we have one more last question uh, from Mr. Michael again. Uh, he asks, "Is there any innovative incentive models that can incentivize employees?" Okay. Um, I will have to get back to on this. I mean, I, I was not able to prepare anything as such, uh, but yeah, I could think of something. Um, I'll try to. If you could add me on LinkedIn, I mean, we can get connected. I'll I'll try to put whatever answers I could get around this question. Of course, great. Uh, thank you so much, then. And yes, to everyone here, we will send the recording to you. I can see. Yes, Mr. Leon, we will definitely send it over to you. Do not worry about that. And along with that, uh, if if Deeraj is okay with it, we can share the presentation as well over an email to not, everyone who has joined us today. All right, great. Um, uh, I think we have one more question from uh, Pallavi. Is it okay if we take that up? Sure, sure. We have time. Last question. Uh -huh. uh, how would the software help across multiple teams, such as BD or sales or any non-sales vertical as well? I think this as all have different scenarios. This this was answered already. This was answered already. Yeah. All right. I think Pallavi, it's kind of the recording. I mean, go just uh, go ten minutes back. You'll be able to see that. I've already yes. answered. This. <laughs> 
Yes, of course. Okay, uh, so I think with that, we have kind of come to the end of the session as well. I can see very well that our audience have also enjoyed the session quite a bit, Dheeraj, because a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of questions have come in and a lot, a lot of appreciation as well for you. Uh, so thank you so much once again for coming to us and showing us how incentives can really help us uh, in a way or the other, for managers as well as their employees. Uh, and of course, I, I would like to say that you've given a really, maybe in a way, a very small demo of our product also uh, indirectly. So really happy that you could be here today. Really looking forward to more such sessions from you. So Dheeraj, if you have any closing remarks, I would love to hear that. So uh, see, the agenda for this webinar was to educate everyone um, on, on one of the new features that we came up, uh, what, which was incentives. Um, I would um, like everyone to just um, reach us, um, uh, allow us to explain in, it in detail. Um, we have a very skilled team who can give you a lot of new ideas, maybe try to map a very beautiful uh, workflow for your uh, problem statement. Uh, sometimes what we have seen is uh, people, all our clients are, they themselves are not aware about their problem statements. Uh, but since being in this industry, seen a lot of different cases, uh, we were able to find that. Okay, sir, so this is the problem that you are not seeing. This could affect you uh, in coming uh, few months. Uh, you should take care of this from uh, since now only. So I would like everyone to try getting in touch with anyone in Lead Squared. Um, we will help you what, with whatever resources we have. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all. Uh, request you to, um, you know, feel free. I mean, share this uh, presentation uh, if you like it. Share it with your friends, colleagues, with your, um, you know, connections. Uh, so whatever we can get, I think, uh, we all can be, um, uh, you know, in connection and we can take it ahead. That's uh, all from my end. Thank you so much again, Kartika, for having me here. And thank you for this beautiful audience. Everyone collaborated. That is something I was uh, looking out for. And uh, again, uh, it was an honor for me. Thank you so much once again, Deeraj. Thank you to the audience as well. Uh, like I said before, we have a lot of such sessions coming in. So please look out for all of them. And of course, if you have anything that you want to discuss with us, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us. And to our speaker, thank you so much, Deeraj. Have a great all day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.